This year, the Literary Festival is reconfirming its commitment to Antigua and Barbuda writers and the creative industry. And so we have partnered with them, HAMA has, to uh, take a corner of the festival, and which we call Beyond the Screen, that will deal with all aspects of filmmaking from the story right down to the performance and bringing it together. And fortunately for us, we in uh, two years ago met Emmy Award winning director Nima Barnett at a festival when we were screening the rough cut of our film. She was a wonderful mentor, gave us great advice, reviewed, uh, <laughs> reviewed, reviewed our work. And Howard and I thought, boy, wouldn't it be great if we could have Nima and Reed here and share what they shared with us with some other young people. Because when we travel with our work, we get in touch with, in contact with so many established industry professionals and we want to be able to somehow make it happen for Antigua and Barbuda. So with the support of the Antigua and Barbuda Literary Festival and Carib World Travel, we were able to bring Nima and Reed here and with the support of Sugar Ridge, we we're having wonderful accommodations for them. So it came to together very quickly. So we were calling this a boutique event. In other words, uh, we started the promotion online first. We have people coming in from Barbados, uh, St. Martin, as well as Grenada, as well as our local counterparts for a very intense three days of workshops, followed by a very nice evening where they get to see Nima's latest work, uh, the T.D. Jakes film, Woman Thou Art Loose, The Seventh Day. And we'll follow that up with a very intimate evening with Nima where she will talk about her life and her career. Because I think for some of you, go on and Google her. But um, Nima has won numerous awards for her work. And um, she's very well established in the industry. And as I mentioned to someone, while she's a Hollywood director and insider, she's also a champion for independent black filmmakers. And so we're really excited that she has given up her time. She actually flew from LA, then to New York, and then to Antigua, leaving behind um, a whole pile of work to be here. So we're eternally grateful to her and to Reed, who is going to be conducting the digital filmmaking workshop, while Nima will be dealing with, from script to screen, how to get that story idea of yours, how to get your script to the screen, and in another workshop, intensive work for young actors, how to act for film, which is completely different from stage. So we're hoping that everyone will get involved in all the workshops and um, come out and enjoy the screening at Deluxe of her film and talk to them about the entire process. All right, great. Now, before I get to Nima and Reed Howard, um, <laughs> Uh, what I found interesting is, is that uh, Mid City described the, the days of workshop as very intense. What are your uh, expectations, rather, um, for these days of workshops? Well, I mean, filmmaking is a complicated process, and so three days is really not nearly enough time to, to dispense all the information. But if we'll we can make it, be to come back. <laughs> of course, yeah. So, so, uh, so obviously, it would be a lot of information being disseminated in a very short space of time, right? But um, part of the reason why uh, we thought that it was important to link up with the Antigua and Barbuda Literary Festival is writing is a, is a key component of the filmmaking process, and we have um, in Antigua a very established. Um, writing community, you know, it's it's uh, writing is low tech. All you need is pen and paper, right? <laughs> so um, because of that, we have a lot of um, established writers and uh, aspiring writers, and we're now um, getting them into the idea of writing for the screen, right? But there's it, it's a specific process, and so you have to learn it. Right, great. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to uh, give you an opportunity, um, Reed, to just introduce yourself to Antigua and Barbuda. And of course, it's your first time here in this beautiful island. Okay, Reed McCants, Reed R. McCants, which I like to call myself. I'm an actor, writer, producer, director, uh, and, all, and filmmaker. Is that what? Yeah. yeah. My wife has to tell me that because sometimes I forget. I do it all the time, though. And uh, been in the business, what am I, 30 year veteran of, of, of uh, motion picture and television? Been in a lot of films, Project X, uh, you know, of course, a lot of Nemus films, she hires me. She's probably the only one that hires me now. The only one that can tolerate me, you know. Uh, you know, you'll be able to see me in that wonderful film that we got. And we brought some surprises for you. And uh, we also, I mean, also, we're, we're, Nima and I teamed up with a wonderful project called Black History Mini Docs. 
90 seconds, 90 second documentaries on the history of black people in the world, not specifically from America, the entire world, the whole entire black diaspora. And this is what we're doing. So we're proud of this. 90 seconds. What it is is like cliff notes for the digital, digital age. We, we teach young folks history in about a time the attention spans will allow them to pay, att <laughs> pay attention. But that's really tr the truth. So we're excited about that. Right, Nima? Mm -hmm. No, no, you've had a wealth of experience from stage to television to film on. What are you hoping to, to bring um, to the folks who will be involved in these workshops? That's unique. Well, what I'd like to bring is the shortcuts. They are shortcuts to everything. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of films, uh, uh, you know, uh, film schools and, and uh, institutions all over the world, spend, you spend a lot of money and uh, you, you, they spend a lot of time in, in teaching you some things. And some people learn quickly and some people learn, learn, learn take them a little bit longer. But uh, I have a, a, a really prided myself in, in uh, figuring out ways to, to, to speed up the process of learning in both filmmaking and as well as acting. There's things that you can do that will create the same effect, especially when you're doing it in front of a, a, a camera that may would take somebody else, you know, five, six, seven years to master. I'll give you one quick one right now, just in case you think I'm bluffing. Somebody thinks I'm bluffing. This guy, what is he talking about? He's saying these things. What, what can be done? All right. Here's a cheating. Here's a little cheat for if you're an actor and you're an emotional scene and you have to cry. How do you cry? How do you cry at the drop of a hat? Well, you simply, here's a cheat. Leave your eyes open. Don't blink. And quite frankly, you'll see a lot of people doing that technique, but they don't say that they're doing it. They definitely they, tell the <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, seriously. But sometimes you can't muster it up because you have all these distractions around, like, like right about now. All these 5,000 people looking at you in a room, and you're called upon to bring on tears. Just keep your eyes open. Water, your eyes will naturally get water. And then with the thought process of where you are, it can easily evoke the same emotion that you may have in a scene. That's the shortcut. And I got a bunch of them. <laughs> well, don't give us any more. I don't think Missy would be very happy about that. <laughs> Let's save it for the workshop. Now, Nima, yes. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Just basically introduce yourself to Antigua and Barbuda. Okay. Hi, Antigua and Barbuda. I am Nima Barnett, and um, I am a filmmaker and a director of stage and screen. First of all, we'd like to thank Carib World Travel for getting us here, and we'd like to thank the um, Antigua Literary Society for uh, their involvement, and mainly we'd like to thank the two talented filmmakers who we fell in love with several years ago when we met them in Barbados, Mitzi and Howard and Hammer Films. Um, when I first, saw, when I saw The Sweetest Mango, I thought to myself, Wow, what a beautiful island and what a beautiful film. And how beautiful the film was made really moved me. And when I got to meet Missy and Howard, I was like, I saw your movie, I saw your movie. And they were surprised. And then Howard was in the midst of making the skin. And as soon as I saw it, I said, Howard, this is a hit. He was like, well, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. It was so different and unique and interesting and, you know, interweaving the flavor of uh, Antigua with, you know, with a... Uh, uh, Diff di several generations and it was edgy and it was just fabulous so when Mitzi spoke to me about coming down you know I've been teaching film also this is my 16th year teaching as a professor at UCLA my seventh year at USC and last year Spike called me in no in, in 2011 Spike Lee called me in and I taught two years at, at NYU on and off because I'm a working director so uh, for me to come to Antigua and do a workshop with Mitzi and Howard and Reed I'm very excited because I make films for my people basically and all the knowledge that I have that's who I want to share it with. So coming out here and 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 you know and I'm a big fan of Caribbean Carib uh, Caribbean books too and mm -hmm. fantasy stories from from the Caribbean. So coming out here and reading all of the work that that these writers are going to do and being able to um, help them 
form their ideas into a screenplay is fabulous you know it's going to be a challenge and a challenge i'm up for and i think that this workshop you know one thing i can say they'll get top-notch information because you know um we've been doing it a long time and we do it for the richest the three richest film schools in the country we definitely can you know come down here and share our information with with the talented people in antigua so that's what i do and you can google me i mean you know i i'm, I'm just a measly director you know i'm not a star but i'm also happy that you know mitzi and howard is screening my latest project called woman thou Art loose on the seventh day starring blair underwood pam greer sharon leal and reed mccants yeah. and uh, it's a bishop jakes td jakes film and um we, just, we got an NAACP Image Award in January, nomination in January for Best Independent Feature. We lost out to Red, Tea, Red Tails, but I don't know how black that film was. But anyway, <laughs> we lost out, but we were nominated. It was a little film that could, you know, and it's done very well. And um, I'm very excited for the people in the island to see the film because it's a very different film. It's not necessarily faith-based, but it is faith-based. And we, you know, I tried to infringe on relationships, faith, you know, uh, uh, just a lot of uh, family stuff and, and marriage stuff and all the stuff that Bishop Jake says that he interviews people on, every, on a daily basis. So I think that the people who come see the film are going to be surprised and I think the people who come to the workshops are going to be very happy and very rewarded. Now, you know, we're a small island here with limited um, resources, not even much of a film industry, right. really. But what do you think um, you'll be able to contribute from your experience um, to aspiring independent filmmakers here? Well, I think I can tr contribute a lot because, you know, sometimes I make films in my class with iPhones. I mean, you know, filmmaking is, like Howard said, it's a complicated process, but it's the process that you could do if you have a passion for it. You know, those of you who like construction work, you may like filmmaking. People think it's glamorous, but you know, I mean, after you screen your film and you're all dressed up, that may happen. But in the meantime, if you like construction work, you like filmmaking. The exciting part is that our people have so many stories to tell. Film is the strongest social and political tool we have. And so you don't need to, you can't be stopped you know, by money in filmmaking. It's an expensive art form. And it's an expensive art form because it's a very powerful political art form. And so everyone can't get to it for a reason. You know what I mean? So what I, what I do is I help people create their vision without worrying about all, having a lot of money. You know, to do the skin, that's a different level, you know. But if you want to start out, you can start out with a story, some iPhones, or a little old video camera, and some um, Final Cut Pro, and you can make a film. You know, because now film is decentralized. It's no longer New York or Hollywood. It's all over the world. So you don't have to be in Hollywood or New York or, you know, or Chicago. You could be in Pittsburgh, Kansas, or Antigua, or Alaska. You make a film, you know, the internet has made everything instantaneous. So people now doing movies, you can show your movie anywhere, you know, and you can enter it in film festivals and you could get money for it on Kickstarter programs, you know. So I think it's an exciting time to be a filmmaker and it's an exciting time to be an aspiring filmmaker because you have so many more options than we had when we were coming up, you know. I hope that answered your question. Yeah. Yeah, very much. Um, yeah. Uh, add view for all the writers who have been supporting the literary festival over the years. On Saturday, they'll be able to meet a lot of Caribbean writers. We have seven of them lined up that are going to be at Best of Books from uh, 12 noon to 4 o'clock reading some of their work and sharing how they became published. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those writers, by the way, have been sponsored by the Antigua and Barbuda Literary Festival to take part in NEMA's workshop. Mm -hmm. And so that workshop is basically full. So acting for film and digital filmmaking, there's still some space available. If you are an aspiring writer and you're a published writer, you're welcome to give us a call and we will try and see if we can fit you in to script to screen. But we have a lot of really anxious people ready to take NEMA um, instruction and we want to be able to keep the workshops to a size where NEMA can have some one-on-one -on -one and personal time with them as well.